Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode from my BespokePost.com series. We've got a, another package in here today. And as you can see from the word on the front, it says CHOP. Now, you can kind of guess maybe what these things are going to be. Uh, I do know there's supposed to be like two items in the package. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up. We'll uh, check it out. And uh, I think today we may actually be able to do a little bit of a use um, section in this video. So, All right, so here we go. We've got a couple of things here with a handful of uh, paperwork. Let's go ahead into the card that they have included. And uh, it is, of course, CHOP. And it is a knife collection. Uh, these are both products from Lamson's, which is, uh, as it says here, uh, a, a 200 roughly year old uh, company uh, dealing with cutlery. Uh, now they give you some ideas on the back here as to what these can be used for uh, dicing, mincing, julienne, and chiffonade. We've got uh, now the two products here are from two different areas actually. Uh, the, this uh, longer one which is a Chinese vegetable cleaver obviously Chinese and then we have the smaller one is a Ulu knife. Now the Ulu knife is generally as I remember originated up in the Alaskan area and uh, the native cultures up there. So let's go ahead uh, off we'll go ahead with the ulu knife and then we'll get into the japanese cleaver now as you can see these do come with uh, these protective edges um, i believe this is yeah this is a a wax covering to help protect the edge of the knife and also yourself now it does have a nice wooden handle with two brass rivets that go all the way through so it makes it uh re you know fairly safe uh you know very nice to hold used for uh, cutting mincing different things like that obviously a rocking motion if uh, you hunt and uh, you you uh, process some of your own game and things like that um, this is something that you can use to uh, help uh, skin the animal or something like that so that's something else it can be used for um, it's great for uh, chopping up uh, vegetables and meats and things like that uh, on here it shows uh, it chopping up uh, some fish it looks like and uh, it says that uh, this dates back to around 2500 BC according to this it this is made from a high carbon stainless steel and uh, then also they say that this is a walnut handle so you've got a nice a nice handle there I do feel a little bit of roughness on it uh, but I'm sure with a little bit of use that'll that'll smooth down just fine for this second one here we have a Chinese vegetable cleaver now it's a vegetable cleaver rather than a uh, meat cleaver of course I uh, usually think of a meat cleaver and it's that very big large bulky blade it's just a giant flat piece of steel with an edge on it and then you've got that handle uh, obviously this is very similar whereas it is a very large piece of steel um, but this is much thinner than what a standard meat cleaver would be uh, a meat cleaver would usually be nearly uh, a quarter inch thick sometimes even thicker uh, this one is maybe a little under an eighth maybe like three or three sixteenths somewhere in there maybe even a little thinner than that uh, now this of course is longer and shallower as well so it, uh, it it's made for chopping up of course vegetables and uh, you know great for chopping up carrots and parsnips and and uh, all those kinds of things it's made from a high carbon stainless steel and uh, it has a very it has a nice comfortable round walnut grip as well so and then you do have the the brass fitting on here to kind of give it that finished look uh, as you can see on this side it does have the the Asian symbols here, the Chinese symbols, and uh, the Lamson name uh, on the side. So they do have that uh, 
printed on there just like on this one they have it on the handle this is obviously a pretty pretty straightforward uh, opening I'm gonna go ahead and cut away I'll do a little bit in terms of what we can use these for we'll chop up some carrots so that we actually have a little bit of a uh, an idea or you guys can actually see these kind of in action and be able to you know decide for yourself if you think that chop might be one of the boxes you want to get from bespoke post all right guys well i'll be right back hey everybody um we're here uh, i am just going to uh chop up some carrots this time uh, I'm not ready for for the meats and everything so that's what i'm doing so we'll try with this first and then we'll go ahead and move over to the other one and i've got my little thing here to put everything in for me to use it later now of course this has got the rocking motion so we can sit here and got uh, got that going on pretty straightforward on that um, you can also use it as a chopping motion as well so and uh, it works well that way so got that mm, it's not bad just chopped up some carrots here a little bit uh, get myself down to further Just uh, clean that part up later. No problem. So works pretty nice. Um, I mean, if I want, I can sit here and kind of take it down and do a long cut on it like that. And uh, works pretty, pretty decent. It's nice and sharp. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I don't, make sure you uh, don't hit your hands. Um, if you're not sure, go ahead and wear a cutting glove with something like this so that you don't uh, slice through your hand there because this is very, very sharp. And then we've got, of course, the vegetable cleaver. And uh, this does have a rock, so I could easily use it this way just like you do. A, um, something like a French chef knife and then of course the nice thing is, is because it's got this big white surface you can of course scoop everything up onto it and right in and it makes it real nice for transferring stuff over into a pan or something like that when you're cooking and makes it much easier to do prep um, while you're cooking you can get stuff started and warmed up and be chopping away and then take and move it over and transfer everything all right guys well we got a chance to to see what these what these could do and everything i got to see the uh the cutting action on these and uh you know doing a little bit of food preparation there so uh you know now it's up to you guys if you like these products of course you can uh go down check it down in the description below and there'll be the link to bespoke post and you can go ahead and check out this along with any of their other boxes that they have available uh, you know check them out uh, you can check out some of my other videos and take a look at what some of those look like coming out of the box and everything uh, if you see things that are on there that uh, you want to know a little bit more about all right everybody my name is cougar i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here this is the world of me and another episode from the bespokepost.com series if you want to again check this out go ahead in the description below also while you're down there don't forget to hit those uh, social media outlets we have a handful of them down there and on your way down don't forget to hit that thumbs up button helps us out lets us know that you like these videos and want to see more of them you can also go over here and hit the little icon that we've got floating here or uh, you can go down there to the subscribe button and they'll of course let you subscribe and then set up that bell icon and it will let you know when we have new videos coming out so that you guys can be notified when more stuff from bespoke post or any of the other series come out all right guys well i will talk to you later and have a good day bye